What's up guys, Ryan McCullough here of Next Generation Music Sessions. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to take the shifting pentatonic scale idea that I showed you in my last video, link above, and take that and make some music. This is getting at note choices in a very logical way. Stick around. If you're new to this channel, click the subscribe button below. We release tons of content all the time and you don't wanna miss out on any of our lesson tips, our lesson cover tutorials and preventative injury videos. All right, so if you missed it, video one, I talked about the connection between the minor arpeggio, the minor pentatonic scale and the minor scales. If you didn't see it, here's the link above. Video number two, I talked about breaking out of the box by basically saying that uh, the pentatonic scale, the minor pentatonic scale, and the major pentatonic scale is made up of two intervals, a major second and a minor third. And by playing those either on the same or adjacent strings, you can come up with a myriad of different patterns to, to improvise and play along to. In this video, what I'm going to show you is how to take that, uh, that movable pentatonic scale and make some music out of it. So this gets at note choice. Note choice is something that many people are reluctant to get into because it gets at uh, the kind of creative aspects of improvising or composition. And um, it doesn't have to be as subjective as, as people often think that it is, right? It is a very personal thing. Which notes are you gonna put in which order, right? But there's also some logic to this, and there's some logic that we've used sort of intuitively across several centuries. So let's dive into it, shall we? When talking about note choice, what we're really doing is talking about groups of notes or whole musical ideas, right? And this gets into what is commonly referred to as motifs. These are short little musical ideas. If you missed this video, you should check it out. It's my buddy Dan's uh, Guitarist Survival Skills YouTube page, link here. Uh, he puts out some really good content and a great player, and he's definitely spot on when it comes to being sure that you're playing uh, to the song as opposed to playing for yourself, right? In other words, that you're, you're putting out ideas or you're generating ideas as a musician uh, rather than uh, being a guitarist up front uh, trying to impress people. And he gives you a couple of, of great pointers to, to use to build your own solo. I'm gonna take it a, a step further and say that uh, there are a couple of really straightforward, simple ideas that we can use. And they are number one. Number one is going to be exact repetition. So let's say you have this idea right here. You take that idea and repeat it exactly, right? So there's no variation in it whatsoever. Idea number two is going to be varied repetition. So you take your idea, that initial idea, and you change a couple notes, a couple rhythms. And idea number three is going to be a melodic sequence. A melodic sequence is a pattern in which you play that pattern on every scale degree or every note in the scale. A really simple example of this is what I call the one, two, three pattern. That is where you take the first note of the scale, and then you add the two notes right next to it on top of that first note. So it sounds like this, one, two, three, and then you go to scale degree two, and then go two note, to scale degree two, and then two notes above it. So it sounds like two, three, four, and then you go to the third note in the scale and do the same thing, three, four, five. So it goes one, two, three, two, three, four, three, four, five, and so on. Really simple. but. Let's make it a little bit cooler than that. So let's do this type of sequence. Four. So you can see, if you have these three tools in your tool bag, you can very easily construct a memorable, melodic, and ultimately awesome 
solo or melody, something that people are gonna remember for a really, really long time. And the way you can do that is with the three tools, exact repetition, varied repetition, and melodic sequence. Okay, so I'm gonna take the three tools that we just discussed and construct a solo. And using my buddy Dan's advice, uh, I'm going to serve the song rather than serve myself. So this is going to be hopefully a rather memorable solo as opposed to me just impressing you. So here we go. Mm -hmm. 